Wesson back in the match when he was down and out, trailing one shot to eight. Now the margin is only three. Surely we couldn't have another cliffhanger, another eight all. I don't think I can handle the tension that we uh, suffered last year in the semi-final. Well, that's a great start from Steve Glasson. Big advantage for Rowan Brass is the fact that he's going to have last bowl on this end. He'll be hoping, of course, he won't have to play it. He only needs one shot for the match. Running through. Steve Glasson could just add a second shot here. All of a sudden, Rowan Brassy starts thinking, if I drop another four, I'll be shaking hands. So, Steve Glasson needs to turn the screw. Well, he's done that. We've seen Rowan Brassy escape from some tough situations in this match already, and... Uh, this certainly isn't the toughest of them. About 30 centimetres to draw shot. Normal, normally that wouldn't create a problem for Rowan Brassy, but... Oh, stop this. Yes, well. Great ball from Rowan Brassy. And she's got two options here, Jeff. He could ideally rest Brassy's bowl out and stay for three or promote his own short bowl. Just... Maybe one roll would be enough. Certainly he's on the hand to do that, on the backhand, and had the weight to do it, but not the line. Rowan Brassy still lying the one he requires. I'd like to draw one now, Jeff, right on top of the jack. Make it almost impossible for Steve Glasson. Line's good. Weight's perfect. You called it, Shrew, right on top of the jack. It's a dead draw shot. Centimetres for Steve Glasson. Well, he's playing a weighted shot. What? Is he going to get a result off this? Is he ever? It's two. Is it three? Is it four? could be holding the match. <laughs> well, Steve Glasson can't believe his luck. Look at this short bowl onto the jack. Slices it out even wider. There's two down. He's at least two up now. I think it is only two. Yes, in fact, Karen Murphy had uh, two red bats up there. So, uh, but still, two shots. Support would leave only, only one shot the difference in this set. Brassy hasn't taken much time, Jeff. Well, does he ever take much time? He needs one for the match. He's currently two down. And that is too heavy to save the shot. Is it one or two? It's just one to Steve Glasson. He advances to six, trailing Rowan Brassy on eight. So, uh, this match going right to the wire. Steve Glasson needs three shots to take it out. And after that lengthy measure on the previous end, it doesn't seem to have upset Steve Glasson. The concentration is right back there. Well, Rowan Brassy, he'll be thinking he should have wrapped up the match on the previous end. Had a metre of room and failed. Now he's only got centimetres in which to draw the shot. Great attempt. Maybe safer for Steve to play this on the backhand. But his bowl just slightly short. The contact there could jar the jack. Yes, Jeff. And he'd like to even trail the jack himself. It's safer to do that, of course, on the backhand. 
What a wonderful bowl here. Tuck it around the corner. Oh, the bowl just fell back, unfortunately, but still a great bowl from Steve Glasson. Now, nine out of ten bowlers confronted with that target would, uh, would be hitting it. Not the champ. He's just going to throw the jump out of there. Four bowls delivered, three of them touches. Sensational bowling from both Rowan Brassy and Steve Glasson. It's very important for Steve to get a result with this bowl. Jeff, he doesn't want to leave it till his last. Brassy only needs one for the match. He's holding that one. Well, the weight's there. It's so turning fast enough. Well, the worst possible result for Steve Glasson would have been just to tickle that jack out of sight, but it's still available. Now, does Rowan Brassy play that same shot, but with less weight? Would leave Steve Glasson nothing on at all if Rowan could just trail that jack five or ten centimetres. Even finishing within 40 or 50 centimetres would, uh, would do for Brass. <laughs> Steve Glasson has a touch a short of the jack if he hits his front bowl. Well, off that. Well, still the blue disc bowl sits there for shot, and that's the win that Rowan Brassy had to work so hard to achieve. Rowan Brassy, 9-6 in the third set. Brassy, the winner of the match, but it's Steve Glasson who had the Park Royal Parramatta shot of the match with this conversion shot to take the first set. Steve's playing that well at the moment, Jeff. I think he might even back himself to try and just draw this shot. Well, he can still sit on the shot bowl, which is only just short of jack high. The trail of the jack is good for him. Uh, got a resting touch up. And I hope you've enjoyed today's action, and there'll be more of the same next week when we we'll return to Marylands for more Mazda International Jack High Bowl. Hope you can join me then. From all of us here, it's goodbye from Nine's Wide World of Sports.